Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a discussion about the upcoming Sim Update 5, as well as some reactions to the live developer Q&A which happened last night on Twitch via the official Microsoft Flight Simulator channel. I won't be discussing all the different aspects of the update, but I will focus specifically on VR and the general performance boost in the Sim. Sim Update 5 is dropping on the 27th of July 2021. This is the same day as the Xbox release for both the Xbox Series X and the S. The developers have promised better performance both in PC and VR mode. It's worth mentioning that future Sim and World updates will be released simultaneously for both the Xbox and the PC versions of the Sim. One of the main bits of news is the fact that DX12 is not going to be implemented on the PC versions on the release date of the update. It will be implemented for Xbox, but PC will run DX11 until later down the line until they figure out exactly how to implement DX12 on the PC versions of the Sim. However, there will be a significant game in PC mode, as well as some noticeable improvements in VR. During the Q&A session, the developers showed videos of the enhancements and improvements in terms of FPS and performance for the PC mode. I didn't want to include the videos here in case of copyright, but the results were really encouraging. When flying over New York City using an i7 and 2060 Super, the frame rates went from around 32 to 35, right up to 54 to 60 FPS after the update. What they've done is they've made changes to how the sim runs, so the processors will be shared and pushed more to the GPU, so more to the graphics card, which will free up more of the CPU usage. They were saying that 25% is now freed up on the CPU. So these updates should get rid of any stuttering and enhance performance. It's worth noting that these enhancements will also depend on your PC spec. One of the great things about taking the load off the CPU is the fact that you'll be able to multitask. So you'll be able to run things like OBS if you're a content creator without any stuttering. And also as a general user, you can run other programs while you fly. Also, they mentioned that the sim will use less virtual memory, which will also help and contribute to the system running better overall. The demos in the Q&A session were really useful in giving us a visual indication of exactly where and how we're going to get the performance enhancements. I encourage you to watch the stream and see the results in the video yourself. This brings us to the VR improvements, which is of course the main focus of my channel. The team said that they're going to be focusing more on VR this year. The team said that there'll be an announcement of an update for VR by the end of the year or by spring of 2022. So right now they've got a dedicated team of programmers working on fixing all the bugs and improving the performance in VR. A snapshot of what will be worked on next will be released soon. As you can see, this is really encouraging for VR. I'm sure some of you will be disappointed to hear that the DX12 won't be implemented yet. However, I do think the update will have a significant effect on the performance of VR. I would expect that you would find higher frame rates, more consistent performance, less CTDs, less lag, less bugs, and more smooth and reliable gameplay. I think there's plenty to look forward to in terms of VR. We just have to have some more patience to let them develop it further. As you may know already, the Performance Plus flighting opportunity starts today. This is a chance for people to experience the update and check for bugs and any other kind of fixes that need doing before the update comes out on the 27th of July. Unfortunately, I couldn't confirm a space, so I won't be part of the testing team. However, I do look forward to the update at the end of July. And this brings me on to my own channel. I plan to continue making videos based on test updates, drivers, and any developments in VR for best performance. I intend to keep you updated with the latest major developments for the sim. I'll be creating more reviews, detailed tutorials, some tours, and some group flights. And I'll continue to provide guides and help with VR whenever possible. And now that the channel's reached 1,000 subscribers, I'll be using the community tab to inform you of different types of polls and get your feedback in terms of what kind of content you want to see for future videos. Anyway guys, this is really exciting news. I know it's not everything that we wanted straight away. And I really do believe that over the course of this year, you'll see significant changes in VR. I'm so excited about this update and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this runs. Once the update is released, I'll be doing some demo testing and performance tests based on different settings in VR with both the Reverb G2 and the Quest 2. Anyway guys, I hope you found this interesting and useful. As always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I look forward to making another video soon. In the meantime, guys, take care and stay safe.